Hello everyone, welcome to watch this video. In this video, we will teach you how to use C and Python to program on the Raspberry Pi to read the data of MPU 6050. First, let's learn what is MPU 6050. About MPU 6050, MPU 6050 is the world's first integrated six axis motion checking device. It integrates a three axis MEMS gyroscope, a 3-axis MEMS accelerometer, and a Scable Digital Motion Processor DMP. We can use an I2C interface to connect a third-party digital sensor, such as a magnetometer. After expansion, it can output a 9-axis signal through its I2C or SPI interface. SPI interface is only available on MPU 6000. MPU 6050 can also connect non inertial digital sensors through its I2C interface, such as pressure sensors. The MPU 6050 uses three 16 bit ADC for the gyroscope and accelerometer, respectively, and it converts the analog quantity into a digital quantity that can be output. The gyroscope can measure angular velocity and the accelerometer can measure acceleration. In order to accurately check fast and slow movements, the measurement range of the sensor is controllable. The gyroscope measurement range is plus minus 250, plus minus 500, plus minus 1000, plus minus 2000 degrees per second and the accelerometer me measurement range is plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8, plus minus 16 g gravity acceleration. The MPU 6050 has an on-chip 1024 byte FIFO which helps reduce the system power consumption. It communicates with all device registers using 400 kHz I2C interface. In addition, a temperature sensor and an oscillator with only plus minus 1% variation in the working environment are embedded on the MPU 6050 chip and there are programmable low-pass filters. When it comes to power supply, the MPU 6050 module can support VCC operating voltage range of 3 to 5 BDC. After learning what is MPU 6050, then let's start operating. We need to connect the MPU 6050 and the Raspberry Pi development board according to the connection method of the circuit diagram. The VCC pin of the MPU 6050 is connected to 3.3 volt on the GPIO expansion board, which is the number one interface. The GND pin is connected to the number nine GND interface on the GPIO expansion board. The SCL pin is connected to the number five interface on the GPIO expansion board. The SDA pin is connected to interface 3 on the GPIO expansion board. Then use the USB Type-C cable to power the Raspberry Pi development board. After connecting, open the installed MobileStorm software on the computer. Double-click the Raspberry Pi that has been connected in the user sessions list on the left. Enter the account name Pi and press Enter to successfully log in to the Raspberry Pi. We first learned how to use the C language to program the Raspberry Pi to read the data of the MPU 6050. First of all, we need to compile and run the code program of this lesson. Enter the command in the command window cd adapt ultimate starter kit for RPI lesson 5. MPU 6050 code C. 
Press the Enter button to enter the C code program directory of this lesson. Enter the command to display the contents of the current directory ls. Lesson 5 MPU 6050.c is the C code program for this lesson. Since the MPU 6050 sensor uses I2C communication, we need to enter Respy config settings to start I2C. Enter the command sudo resp config. Press enter to enter the setting interface. Select interfacing options in item 5 through the arrow keys on the keyboard and press enter. Then click P5I2C in item 5 and press enter. Click yes, press enter. Click ok, press enter. Finally, Click Finish through the arrow keys on the keyboard and press Enter to exit the setting interface. In the command window, enter the command to compile the code program sudo gcc lesson 5 mpu 6050.c l wiring pi lm. Press Enter. After successful compilation, it will generate a.out file. Enter the command to view the contents of the current directory ls. Then enter the command to run the code program dot slash a dot out. Press enter. The command window will display the XYZ axis data of the MPU 6050's accelerometer and gyroscope. Press Ctrl and C to terminate the running program. So how does C code program read the data of MPU 6050? Enter the command to view the code. sudo nano Lesson 5, MPU 6050.c. Let's take a look at the main function. First, initialize the MPU 6050 through the wiring pi setup function and determine if the initialization is successful. Then, obtain the acceleration data of the MPU 6050 through the get a cell data function and obtain the angular velocity data of the MPU 6050 through the get gyro data function. Finally, in the while loop statement, print out the x, y, and z axis data of accelerometer and gyroscope respectively. Then the MPU 6050 data is successfully read. Press Ctrl and X, then press Enter to exit. Then we learn how to use the Python language to program on the Raspberry Pi to read the data of the MPU 6050. First enter the command to return to the previous directory cd double dot. Then enter the command to enter the Python directory cd python. Enter the command to view the contents of the current directory ls. Lesson 5 MPU 6050.py is the code program for this lesson. Enter the command to run the Python code program. sudo python3 lesson 5 mpu 6050.py The command window will display the x, y, and z axis data of the accelerometer and gyroscope of the MPU 6050. Press Ctrl and C to terminate the running program. So how does our Python code program read the data of MPU 6050? Enter the command to view the code. sudo nano lesson 5 MPU 6050.py In the program, initialize the MPU 6050 by MPU equal to MPU 6050. Then in while loop, Statement. Get the acceleration data of the MPU 6050 by the Excel data equal to mpu.getAccelerator function. Use the print function to print out data of the three components of the acceleration xyz axis. Gyro data equal to mpu.getGyro data function is to obtain the angular velocity data of MPU 6050. Use print function to print out data of the three components of angular velocity xyz axis. 
then the MPU 6050 data is successfully read. Through this video, we successfully used C and Python to program on the Raspberry Pi to read MPU 6050 data. That's all. Thank you for watching and supporting. See you in the next video.